My goal was to tomb and baron with Zyra since it will melt it in seconds, then sprint my way to the Elder since it takes ages to kill and put myself to some good use. But wait, is that an open nexus? No wait a second, did the enemy just left their base to secure the Elder against me? Now I will teach them to fear me. I will become what I must be. Why? Because I can. Hello everyone and welcome in a new video. Today we have a peculiar game on our hands. It will go from well, to bad, to worse than to a great success, a roller coaster of events. Enjoy. I can't stress enough on how much it is important to set up your top laner to success rather than your bot side. The issue here is that I know that once Jax completes his Divine Sunderer, it will be a huge problem and delaying that right now is a priority. Dear viewers, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel otherwise Volibear will hug you to death. You would assume that this is good, it looks great to be honest. A Diana winning lane by herself, but this mentality will make us suffer the consequence of inflated ego later on. Ah. The misery of fiddlesticks and Sorica. The only scenario that I see is, the moment I exit from the fear I am already silenced. Abused at its finest. But remember, the jungler role especially a tanky one is to absorb crowd control and divert attention from the carry to themselves. This is to be expected. If your enemy top laner have ignite odds are that he has an aggressive mentality and he will want to optimize the use of his summoners. Hence, he might ward your jungle and ambush you while you are trying to secure your buffs. My advice, just leave and don't die for it unless there is backup. Right now, the enemy thinks I am very low, and I am running for my life. But little they know, as long as I am alive, I can stay in the jungle even with 1 health points and do a full clear. We are doing a risky drake, but the movements in the minimap indicate that this call is a sneaky one. Hence, the logical assumption is that Syndra will think Diana is going to gank bot side. That is why, right now the game is going into my favor. So far so good, I was playing a bit cocky due to our composition. My ultimate goal is to get the Herald buff, even though we managed to acquire it, I felt deeply that my death was unnecessary, and this is what started the tilt train. Diana waited for something and just kept looking while I was getting mauled by a lamp. Honestly, not a good feeling. I thought this was a good chance to go and help Varus, but it seems like a bad call. I decided right there to go back to my roots and gank our dear friend Jax, and this where the tilt incident will burst out of me. We simply got outplayed by the dude, and to top it off my ultimate had only 2 seconds left in that, ladies and gentlemen, what made me rage internally. Malphite just flew right in the center then question where is my ultimate. From a bad call to a worst call, there is this habit that I don't know where it comes from. If you don't show up to Drake, the team will flame you and if you do, they will not help you. Since it did come to this, I'll rely only on what I have. Goodbye KDA and welcome to the jungle. Here, I just wanted to do a bit of damage to the jacks and take the tower. Right, nothing complicated. I am just taunting, but the moment Malphite used his ultimate on Sorica. I lost hope, this is a goner. Maybe my presence next to this dude makes him play a bit aggressive than he should. Finally, we are grouped. But to be honest, I am not feeling the win at all. A total wreck of events, maybe Varus can carry. But the game is out of control, and I am tilted out of my mind. It happens, sometimes you can't stop it. And sometimes, it happens to the enemy team. I always wonder, do we win because of our innate skill or the difference in our misfortune? They just made a baby throw, and my team, my beloved team didn't pick up the Herald buff. It is an all or nothing, this game is either a bad dream or a curse placed upon me from playing too many off-meta picks in the jungle. The only event that I can see to set us straight to the path of victory is the Baron. Or maybe end this nightmare and we can start anew. I guess I am right, the enemy are flaming each other. Why would a half health Syndra come check something that is already gone? RIP.
Back to our main issue, the jacks. One thing is now on my mind, if this guy decides to split push there is no one to stop him. Does he know that? Does the enemy know that too? I don't think so. Well, let's test how long will it take to kill me. The plan that I am concocting right now, is to stall long enough for Diana and Malphite to end the game while I distract this monstrosity of a champion. Simply, I guess not. Since plan A failed, let's move on to plan B. I'll lead Jax into an ambush and hopefully the team will kill him. The main issue is that I am not as I should, but this strategy might be clunky but if I execute it perfectly, I am sure it will work. Right now, bringing the fight to our side seems the winning strategy. I really don't want for Jax to split push and on the other hand there is Fiddlestick's ultimate and Sorica silence. We made so many plays around the Baron pit that the enemy forgot about dragons. Small wins keep the team mentality steady, but the miscommunication is lethal. The plan right now is to bring the pressure to us and not let the enemy team think that they can win otherwise than a full head on fight. I was backpinging, but I am sure that whenever I am standing to Malphite he feels immune to damage. Honestly, I got used to it now. But that blue ward really saved the game in my opinion, I was wondering where he is hiding. I might say tilt induced attack was done successfully. Once the main threat in a team fight is gone. We should peel for the carry, our win should come naturally. Let's rest for now, this was a very long encounter. This game almost gave me an aneurysm, Diana is bot with ignite. Malphite with teleport is next to us. And our Zyra support, does damage more than all of us. What is going on? For some unknown reason, Diana left the split push and start running to us. Fiddlesticks on the other hand doesn't want to engage, and right there in the midst of all this chaos. A blue light that saved the game once again, that spark of hope fixed Malphite brain and he did the most epic engage of all time. I was so much in shock that I simply went to end the game, I was expecting a forfeit to be real with you. We have also a second problem on our hand, we don't have a push pressure at all. Hence, me going for the inhibitor was the optimal call. We could have lost the Baron by fiddlesticks. But that will be simply unlucky, hence not my fault. If you are wondering why I switched from the green frog pet to the blue wolf one is because prior to the recent changes, tenacity have more value than movement speed since there is a lot of crowd control in the game. But they removed that from the jungle green smite and that is why the blue one is more valuable for a tank jungle in my opinion. Right now, is the pressure play, we just need to stand still next to a cannon minion and let the enemy team make risky plays. But Diana said nah, we throw. We only know how to throw, the harder you throw the better your LP. My teleport was just to be there in case they jump us, not to dive them. But who knows, maybe I am doing something wrong. At this instant, my value is only due to my Baron buff. But this play made me crack, the dude is tilted more than me he he he.
I just hard pushed all topside, my gut feeling was right. Varus is carrying the team since the mid-game. Not making any risky plays, just poking from behind and waiting for the right moment to take some kills. Me on the other hand, I am just a meat shield, a thorn in the back of my enemy. The more they move, the harder the pain. If I die, I need to make them sweat for it. My goal was to tomb and baron with Zyra since it will melt it in seconds, then sprint my way to the Elder since it takes ages to kill and put myself to some good use. But wait, is that an open nexus? No wait a second, did the enemy just left their base to secure the Elder against me? Without a shred of hesitation, I flew to end this game of horror. They did the worst possible call against a peculiar bot lane. Varus that pokes in Zyra with plants that can stop your back, inflict you with a lasting burn and make you regret why you even play this game. Well, enjoy your Elder Drake and let me enjoy my sweet red nexus. Thankfully, Malphite joined me to end this horrendous game as we swing our way to victory. This is for today's video, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this weird game and see you guys on the next one, take care.